evening. This is Derek Chamblay, broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta, the next great American city, Battleground Zero, the epicenter of the 2017 Civil Defense of the United States of America. Beautiful day, all day in Chamblay, Atlanta. It's winding up on 8 o'clock, sunset, winding up a beautiful day. Sunday, July 30th, 20. 17, following the breaking news and Trump's path, uh, headline out of Politico.com in the last hour, without Priebus, Trump is a man without a party. Subheadline, by, by ousting Rince Priebus, the president is severing one of his few remaining ties to the GOP. By, written by Tim Alberta. And uh, we want to go back to the grand old party and uh, go back to uh, that our current president, Donald Trump, is, is uh, forming a new party. Uh, we call it the great old party GOP. Great. When America was great. And uh, at any rate, so an interesting article. We'll start at the top. Rince Priebus looked battered. It was Monday, October 10th, the morning after the final presidential debate, and our eyes met as I boarded a Southwest Airlines flight from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. It had been an extraordinary weekend. On Friday night, the biggest bombshell of the 2016 campaign dropped when the Washington Post published a decade-old audio recording on which Donald Trump made lewd comments about groping women. Speaker Paul Ryan, Republican Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, uh, disinvited Trump from a unity event in Wisconsin scheduled for the following day and Priebus, then the chairman of the Republican National Committee quietly made the case to Trump and his associates that he should quit the race. And uh, we're going to stop right there on this. Um, it, it, it's been noted uh, many times in the articles coming out uh, leading up to the firing of the chief of staff that um, our current president, Donald Trump, has always held that against him that uh, he attempted to get uh, Trump to to withdraw from the 2016 presidential campaign. And a uh, lengthy article in uh, Political uh, and uh, really missing from the article is the strategy of our current president who's running for re-election in 2020. He's, it's a perpetual campaign. He's still campaigning. Uh, and so he's, he's way, way ahead of any kind of, of challenge that would come out of the Republican Party from the anti-Trump Republicans he made a deal with that then all became never Clinton. Uh, if, if one of them... Uh, and considers uh, 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 supporting or, or, or running uh, for the Republican nomination. It's going to be very, very difficult to wrest that away from uh, President Trump. And uh, the party that he's building is a synthesized hybrid of uh, the Andrew Jackson Democrats. We said it before. And the Southern strategy... Uh, Republicans that uh, departed from the party of Lincoln. Okay, so at any rate, we'll, we'll pick up the article uh, a little further down. Um, anyway, lengthy article says uh, of note that he had uh, a 27 week run as chief of staff and, and that was the shortest time. Uh, so uh, really, uh, it's political taking note that uh, by firing the chief of staff, that who was the former chairman of the National uh, the Republican National Committee, that uh, flipped things in the House and Senate to give them majorities and whatnot, and rebuilt the financial situation of the party, uh, it means that uh, President Trump has turned his back on uh, the uh, Republican Party. Uh, at any rate, this is Derek Chambly, uh, and it's, we're looking at uh, Trump path. 
great old party. Derek Schoenblay, Cyber Citizen Network, Cyber Radio. It's Sunday, July 30th, 2017. Thank you very much.